What's up, Toast? Camel Hoarder 101 here, and I know I haven't done a video in a really long time, but I hope this makes up for it. Uh, these are two really sweet books that I just got uh, yesterday in the mail, and you've probably seen them online or on Amazon. They've been up for pre-order for a really long time. I remember picking them up when they got announced in February, and they have just come out now. So hopefully, if you haven't gotten your copy already, you look forward to them because these are really cool. So the first book here is The Journal of the Two Sisters and this is around like $13 or $13, $15 I guess depending on where you get it. I picked up both these at Amazon and Amazon is actually having some weird like publishing controversy with the company that makes these books and I believe, I'm not sure, I don't think you could get uh, the journey of the two or the journal of the two sisters anymore there but if you can I will put a link in the description if not you could always get it at Barnes and Noble uh, online or in person so I'll, I'll put any on online links I can find for both of these books and yeah they're actually both around like 10 to 15 dollars so uh, they're, they're not too for what you're getting they're actually really good deals so uh, this the journey the journal I keep saying journey the Journal of the Two Sisters. This is an awesome book if you are into the lore of MLP. Uh, it may look familiar, especially from the format that's got this like mini half size flap that uh, or book cover, whatever. They came with a, the Elements of Harmony book that was released, I think, around a year ago. I, I don't know the exact date, but I, I have reviewed it on my channel, and it, it's sort of the same format where if we open it up uh, and take the the sleeve off. You know, it's set up like a book that has been on the show. I don't know if the exact journal has been on the show, but then if you if you go inside the book, there's a, a the journal that Twilight has been um, Twilight and her friends have been taking notes in for season four. It's got all the friendship lessons, but that's only the back of the book. So the front of the book is actually well, it's what the cover is: the journal, of the two sisters, the two sisters being Celestia and Luna. And I originally thought that it was kind of going to be structured the same as the Element of Harmony book, where you know it's got ep episode synopsis, character explanations, and maybe explain some of the characters that were introduced in season four, and you know the the season four plot lines, whatever friendship lessons, all that. Which they do have the friendship lessons, but they're structured in a way that they're not, you know boring and I guess the original elements of Harmony book they were structured the same way but point is there's no um, there's no song lyrics or whatever from season four in this there's no there's no padding no nothing it's all uh, the journal and lore based stuff so uh, the beginning of this book is actually all filled with notes and journal entries from Celestia and Luna prior to any episode that's ever been made of Friendship is Magic so this like covers previous lore of when they were first uh, crowned as princesses, um, you know, it starts by, uh, the first entry is Celestia talking about how Star Swirl the Bearded approached, uh, her and Luna, you know, asking them when Equestria was founded by, you know, the story from Heartswarming Eve happened, and they approached them, asked them to be princesses because they're alicorns and they're unbiased because they have a little bit of every type of pony in them, and, uh, I only skimmed uh, some of the stories, and you know, I, I fully read a few, and then whatever. But it's really interesting. I mean, it covers so many major events that you know have been alluded to in the show that haven't been alluded to. It, you know, it explains how Celestia and Luna got their cutie marks, and you know, I originally thought that they had their cutie marks when they started their princess ship, but they really didn't. So. Is just incredibly impressive, and I really love the way it's structured. And I'm assuming that this is all canon, considering the book, uh, the book's author is Amy Keating Rogers, which is uh, one of the writers on the show. So uh, I'm assuming that they'll be referencing more of this stuff as the series goes on. But what I'm not sure about is if they're, you know, going to heavily reference it because you know that's expecting that everyone who's watching the show is going to buy the book. So. It's like, yeah, they could reference everything in the book, but if you didn't read the book, you're not going to understand it, and a lot of it, it's going to fall flat. And so I'm not sure if they're going to have to reestablish it in the show or if, you know, they're just going to be like, you know, if you want to understand all the lore, you know, better pick up this book. So I don't know. I definitely recommend it, though. Uh, it's incredibly awesome. It's nice hardcover, great quality. It's got the matte... Um, Glossy and matte combo, which if you've seen my other videos, that is like my favorite type of like anything when it comes to packaging or covers or anything. You know, where some start, some part is like matte where you can just drag your finger across, but then some is glossy and your finger gets stuck on it. Oh, it's beautiful. This is the best type of um, professional packaging I could think of. So, 
uh, that is totally awesome and it's so much worth the price. I, I think I like it even more than the first one because uh, it's just more lore based and it explains a lot of Star Swirl the bearded and what he actually is and I didn't expect uh, to see what's uh, like I was expecting Star Swirl to be someone totally different than what they uh, pegged him out to be in the book or at least the parts that I did read. Uh, I do want to like read the whole thing I just haven't had too much time as you can probably imagine so Let's jump into this next thing because it's been looming here in the background, the collectible poster book. And like I said, uh, it's around like, uh, I'd say 11 to 15 bucks, depending on where you get it. I think I picked it up for like 12 or 11. I, I don't remember exactly. I don't have the fucking the receipt next to me, but uh, we got collectible poster book, 40 removable posters. And I don't think I'll be removing any of them because as I was looking through, I'm like, this is totally awesome just to have... And uh, if if I'm gonna end up, ever end up hanging any of them, I'll probably end up getting another copy of this because it's so worth it. So we got some awesome posters from the show, and let's just get through and flip. So we got Wonderbolts poster, and the cool thing is a lot of these have been like in the show, and you know just be like, oh that'd be a cool poster to have. Some of them are not from the show, and just like uh, you know made for this set, but. Anyway, it's just a lot of cool stuff, and I'm trying to get them all in frame. I think I'm going to have to lay them down like this. All right, that's good. So we got the Sister Hoof Social. Uh, tomorrow Spring is here. Uh, a nice, like, retro, or not, not retro, but, like, olden day Flim Flam Bros advertisement. Um... Madam Pinky's uh, magic ball thing. There's no knows all, sees or no sees, tells all. It's really cool. A nice little cross between Luna and Nightmare Moon is really uh, not incredibly stylized, but it is. It's nice. Got a nice filter on it. Just really cool to hang up. Uh, we got a Nightmare Night advertisement, and they're really thick. Like they're really good quality, and I just. They're incredibly impressive. It's not, I didn't expect it to be as awesome as it is, especially for the price. Uh, best Young Flyer competition poster. Where you just got a nice little rainbow dash, like rainbow poster. Uh, Quest Your Games. They're also like hitting stuff that just happened, like season four material as well. Here we just got one of some parachuting ponies. I don't really know what this is from. In the back, there's a. A little like steampunk looking ship and I don't think that's ever been an episode I, I don't know who knows maybe they're hitting future stuff too but I don't know maybe it isn't an episode and if you guys can tell me uh, I'd like to know uh, summer sun celebration this one's it's weird because it's like a IDW My Little Pony Friendship's Magic cover and it says number 13 and it's got the price and uh, cover A but I've never seen this cover especially for uh, number 13 which isn't even the latest issue so I don't know but anyway it's uh, inspired by you know the maniac from Power Ponies and I really like it I've I said in my review that I think the Maniac is super well in that whole world is like just lending itself to because it's a comic adaptation it's lending itself to a comic book parody uh, in the actual IDW series so anyway a daring do cover and uh, that I think that is the one that is the one from the episode but you know as you know as you might know a daring do is getting her uh, own like book set and I don't think I'll be getting that one just because it's super expensive for what you're getting and uh, I think it's structured similarly to the, like, in terms of quality as the sister book or sister journal, but I, I'm i going to hold off on that one as if the price goes down, maybe. Uh, but, yeah, so, so this is independent of those books, but still really cool looking, uh, nice and stylized. Uh, this is a huge dragon collage one, and I now looking far away from it, I just noticed that all these small dragons make up a bigger dragon, but the thing is every single dragon is the same dragon in, like, two different positions or three different positions and it just looks like they're copy and pasted and that's like I immediately noticed that right away and not to say that that's bad it still looks really cool looking at it from far away but still it's probably one of the lazier designs no offense of course so the next next two got a nice star sword the bearded traveling museum which again is another season four thing from three is a crowd uh, Watch and be amazed by the great and powerful Trixie. So all you Trixie fans out there, that's a really good looking poster. Assuming it's an ad for one of her shows. 
probably one of my favorite ones is this DJ Pond 3 one. It's just so stylized, and it looks like it be makes such a good, um, like, just add for a DJ, DJ show and a concert, and it just looks so good. And, you know, it's got all the locations as if it were a concert, like Manhattan, Philadelphia. And I love the color combination, the purple and blue. It just super stands out, super, like, popping, and I, I just love it. Uh, this next one, it kind of reminds me of American Idol and just all those talent shows, but it's, it's featuring Sapphire Shores. And also another really good one. I always like when they parody stuff with ponies because they just look really good. Again, another really good one is, uh, uh, you know, parodying the fashion magazines. But this one's called Prance, issue number XVI. So what is that? 15, 16. So <laughs> issue number 16, got an exclusive Fluttershy interview. And see, now that I'm seeing all these, I'm, I'm really hoping that they start making things like this. Like, hey, why don't you release like a little... Oh, a one-off comic or something that is an actual uh, an actual issue of Prance, and then it has a Fluttershy interview, talks about pony fashion and stuff, but it's, like, really tongue-in-cheek and, like, just referential, and I just love to see that, like, from IDW or something, just as a one-off. Like, don't make it a full thing, because I don't need to buy a bunch of pony fashion magazines, because... For obvious reasons. So and then we got just a standard rarity uh, with some patterns uh, in the background. There's one for each of the main six like this where it's just them. And if you're a fan of one particular pony, I think it would be a really cool poster to have. Uh, here's one of Cadence, which uh, again looks really cool. Cadence is my favorite princess. And it's got nice crystal empire in the background, the crystal hearts. Uh, this, is, this is a strange one just because it's so big and it's like... It is a invitation to Cadence and Shining Armor's wedding, and it's all in fancy writing and everything. And I just, I, I love the creativity put into these. It's like, wow, I didn't know that, you know, this actually existed. That they had like a Cadence like wedding invitation design. Um, here's another parody one, uh, Hinny of the Hills, uh, and I, I, I don't know exactly what it's parodying. I know it's parodying something, but uh, it, it looks like it's like an Applejack s pony, but it's not. It's like. It's a different pony that looks like Applejack. Uh, the Grand Galloping Gala tickets, the golden tickets that was like in the third episode of the series. And again, just really cool. Reminds me of, you know, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory's golden tickets. Uh, here's the Celestia poster that's got uh, Royal Guards. The only thing I'd uh, say I'd like different about this one is it's using the same Royal Guard in both shots. I thought I'd like to have like maybe one of the darker unicorn ones. Like I, I think one of them was patrolling the... Uh, castle at night time when Twilight was sneaking in to find a time travel spell like that unicorn would have been cool or just uh, you know not the same white uh, pegasi guard so and, but still it's fine oh and if you haven't noticed by now they're double sided so you know if you have two that look really good on both sides unfortunately you'll have to get another one or just keep swapping them whenever you feel and then on this side we got the stained glass of the nightmare moon defeat which i is weird that they have this one and i don't think they have the discord one and you know the spike one and the uh, Princess Twilight one, they just have this one, but that's fine. I'm sure they'll release more sets like this in the future, and I hope uh, pretty soon, because I really do like these, especially for the price. I think it's a really good price. So here we got Princess Twilight and Fluttershy. Again, just pattern overlay. Twilight's got books, and Fluttershy's got like hearts and stuff. Uh, Adopt a Pet with uh, Fluttershy. This is a really good looking one. I like the little chalky chalky outline of Angel and Fluttershy. Uh, Rainbow Falls Traders Exchange. This is actually coming from one of my favorite episodes, uh, Trade Ya. So maybe this one's worth hanging up if I end up buying another set. Uh, we got another Rainbow Dash one with the whole pattern thing. Uh, she's got little lightning bolts. Uh, a Yeehaw one, which is really weird because the pony almost looks like Twilight. The hat looks like Applejack's and then the cutie mark is kind of like party pony Pinkie Pie style, and then you know you got Yeehaw. So this is a huge just combination of all random elements, and I'm assuming it's an advertisement just for something Applejack related, like a barn raising or something. Uh, here we got the Ap Applejack's wall with their family, and just or either that or it's the. Um, I think it's uh, the wall, but it could just be the scrapbook that Granny Smith was looking through, but I don't think. I think it's the wall with a bunch of pictures on it. 
And it might have also not been in an episode, but I think it's from an episode. Anyway, still, it looks really cool. It'd be nice to have on the wall, just if you get this exact same wallpaper for your wall and then put this up and then it just blends in. I don't think anyone's going to take it that far, but it'd be cool. Again, we have the Applejack one, and I think Applejack is not my favorite pony, but I, I think I like her uh, poster the most, simply because it's got, uh, you know, this paint splatter effect on it, and it just looks really sweet up close. And from far away, you might not notice it, but I just it just looks really nice and stylized. Uh, here we got Ponyville Days. A clown advertisement, probably for a circus or something. Again, just loving the advertisement stuff. Just really cool to see how they how they stylize them, how they make them unique. And then we got the Pinkie Pie one with the background. It's got balloons, streamers, all that junk. The Elements of Harmony book, which is, you know, the cover to the Elements of Harmony. And this is exactly what the book looks like. That is the a previous one to the Two Sisters book. So you kind of see them side by side, what they look like. They definitely have... You know, similar looking style, so they definitely would look good next to each other on a shelf. And, um, yeah, just another callback to that book. So, uh, here, here we got Spike's background one. It's got some green flames. This one also looks really good. I like it. And then on the back, we just have the cover of the, you know, the poster set. It's just got a little, they look like felt cutouts of the ponies. And, uh, some of them look a little bit off. Like, Rainbow Dash's head looks a little weird. And, um... Pinkie Pie looks kind of weird because she doesn't have a little cross for the center of her teeth. It's just a it's like a crescent moon shape, and I don't know. It's just small things, but obviously, just if I were to choose between these two, I'd pick the Spike one. So, uh, yeah. And then, yeah, obviously we got the back, and it's cardboard, so the posters don't bend too much. And then the back is just a, a little preview where it's got four of the posters, and you know, it says filled with sweet and sassy images inspired by M.O.P. French's magic, and blah blah. blah you know, all that advertising stuff. So I, I'm really impressed. I, I I hope you guys are too. And I definitely recommend you pick up both of these books because um, because they're freaking awesome. I guess, is there any other explanation? You've seen them now and I can't, you know, tell you everything from the Two Sisters journal just because it'd be incredibly spoilery and I haven't gotten to all of it myself. But I definitely say it's uh, well recommended or well worth the the money. So... I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Camel Herder 101, out.